Hi Dominic, I'm Izzel from The Upcoming. It's really lovely to speak to you today and congratulations on Close to You's fantastic film. So for viewers that are coming into it, can you just tell us a little bit about what the film Close to You is all about? What can you expect when they watch it? Well, it's, it's a f uh, basically about a, uh, a young man who returns to his family, uh, his hometown, and to a family reunion. Um, and he's not been back for four or five years. Um, and then during that process, he bumps into a, a past love, but also um, deals with a lot of outstanding issues that his family have and that he has as well. So I think that's that's the basics of it, you know. Um, and it stars Elliot Page, who's incredible. Um, and And it's a very emotional, very powerfully emotional journey. And can you talk to us a little bit about the choice to make this an unscripted body of work? I mean, obviously there's a bit of method in the madness, but yeah, what yeah. was that choice? Well, it's, it's how I've always worked, is collaborating with an actor, mm -hmm. um, not only on um, when we're making it, but prior to when we make it. So obviously we, we talked a lot about the ideas, the story. It all meant something to Elliot. It was resonant for him. It was a story he wanted to tell. Um, and then and then basically you work on those ideas and character. So when you get to the actual shooting, it's kind of, it, it organically starts to, starts to, take, to happen. I, I don't want to sound mysterious because it's not. It's, you know, there is a script, there are scenes written, but they just, I just don't put the dialogue in. I like to be surprised by what's said and, and, and surprised sometimes by what happens in the scenes. So yeah, it's, um, it's a very different way of working, but I think it produces a greater level of realism on the screen, um, of authenticity of character, of truth, really. I think that's what it does. You can't, you can't say something that doesn't mean something to you as, a, as an actor when you're working this way. I was going to say, because one of your previous films, I'm Ruth, starring Kate Winslet, you work closely with to produce as well. So you obviously work closely um, yes. with your main actor, Elliot Page, on this. So yes. um, what was that collaboration kind of like? How, what was the starting point for that? Because I believe you hadn't sort of done a film since about 2017. That's right. That's right. So it was obviously, it, was, it had to be something that meant something to, to Elliot. But I think he'd seen my work um, here before. And I think he really appreciated that level of realism and... and 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 all that and I think that was something that he wanted he really wanted to, to, to do um, and I think it was the right time for him he felt ready to do something like this um, we as I say that we, we when we first spoke the very first conversation we had I think um, it felt immediately like yeah we can do this you know we talked the same language if you like um, we liked the same things we had similar taste um, and we got on, and I think that was really that's the that's the key ingredient to the, is that these things become like friendships. So the journey of making it is like you're making it with friends, and that's what I really love. You know, I, I couldn't do it with with someone that it didn't feel that way to be honest with. I didn't. I've never. And I, yeah, I've. Uh, and I think that I think it becomes very obvious when that's going to be the case, and then you just. It doesn't really happen, you know. Part ways. <laughs> yes. I think you talk about the casting process as well, because you bring on people like Hilary back on board. Um, so, and you must obviously really kind of have that trust in your actors to get this narrative across in this way as well, especially unscripted. Yes, and I think that's all part of the process. So when I um, started that process, I, obviously it's nice to meet them in, in person. So I would have these one-to-one -one meetings with, with, a, with, I mean, quite a lot of actors. Um, and it's it's really about uh, it's when those actors you feel a special quality with them it's like an instinct with them you just feel like yes anything is possible with this you know and I I like that I like the fact that again it's about a sense of it, almost immediate trust um, and and then it gets exciting because I think well again I feel like we can try things and we can try anything and they'll they'll, they'll they'll believe in it and if they don't well then we don't do it I think that's the point I think there's a there's a kind of safety with it because they know that that if it doesn't feel right if it's not the right idea or right scene then we it, we won't do it and that's that's they always know that and also the other thing is they know that um, there's no such thing as getting it right it's just 
doing it, you know. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> yeah. It's not like you're going to fluff their lines. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Make up some more. <laughs> yeah. And also you work with this amazing cinematographer, um, Catherine Lutz. Uh, can you talk about some of the choice for that, the long scenes, the kind of intimate sort of close-ups? What was that collaboration like with her? It was, uh, again, again with um, uh, the DOP, it's, it's, it's like it's just so important that they are in tune with what, um, it, with, with what we're doing. Um, that there's a, a, a potentially a great relationship there of understanding, and that you you share similar tastes, you know. And I think everything that those decisions of 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 how to and where to and you know they they're not easy to come to, but but somehow it felt absolutely that Catherine was was right. She really enjoyed the process. She really enjoyed being a part of the scenes because as the way that these are made. The camera is almost like a character in the scenes as well. The, cam the camera is there. The actors are trusting the camera. They're feeling the camera, you know, and and also being unaware at the same time, you know. Um, it's that thing. It's, it's a real mix of subtle things that go to make it work visually too, you know. Um, but again, it, but the most important thing is that um, the DOP and Catherine Lutz in this case was totally in tune with everything all the time, and, and she was, you know, and f and interested in what's going on too. Like, not always interested in just the imagery, but also what's being felt, you know, the emotions in it and all that. I mean, it's a very sensitive uh, <clears throat> story as well that you tell. And Elliot, you know, it's, uh, there's situations where the family, the mum forgets his pronoun, that's you know. Right. That's right. And there's, there's a moment where he's got his shirt off and that's, yeah. you know, there's a yeah. real poignant moment where that's right. there's no turning back from that. Yeah. What are you kind of most proud of and what particular scenes do you sort of think, you know, that was amazing? And... Well, the, actually, actually, the scenes that I really love, because they're the hardest to do in, in many ways, are those very... Um, th those scenes between Elliot and Catherine, um, sorry, Elliot, no, I'm not talking about the <laughs> DOP, um, Elliot and Hilary, um, and on the beach, in the cold, it was actually very beautiful, but at, but at the same time quite hard to get that intimacy and that magic. And I felt that we did. I felt, felt that they really went somewhere very intimate and delicate and personal and it felt really good actually and I, I love I love those scenes because they're very, I find them very affecting I just feel very affected by by the honesty in them you know and how's it feel to be here today at the BFI flair you know in London's LGBTQIA plus film festival you know for the European premiere this season? well it's very exciting because um it's it feels like well well Elliot is a, a, a great star he's a big star and and so many people love him um and i think it's great to be able to show it to a particular community of of uh, an audience that will respond in a kind of uh, in, in a in a meaningful way where these ideas and themes will resonate and will uh will connect with them hopefully <laughs> I, can't, I can't be sure but um but i love the fact that actually it will, it will have meaning a real meaning um, uh, and that will be exciting to experience for me as a filmmaker. And can you talk a little bit about the locations and music choices that you made as well for this? Um, music, uh, music is very important mm -hmm. <laughs> to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, because, and I really enjoy creating that because it's, it has to sort of match the sensitivities of what's going on, but also help tell the story um it, it be underlining the the moods um and I hopefully add to the experience the emotional experience of the of the film so music is is a vital element um but yeah it's it's really weird sort of thinking about it in a way because it's I see music and film as being very linked much more so than uh, much more so than the the, the words in many ways I mean, you know the, the, a film is is like a a concerto in some ways, mm. isn't it? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah. And what do you hope viewers will take away with their watches then? Uh, I hope that people come away from seeing the film feeling like they've, that, that something about it has represented them, um, that, that they can also feel uh, empathy 
more empathy for um, people and their feelings, um, and that maybe they could be, some people could be changed by the experience, or they will they will see something that make them think differently um, about about us, about people, and also that they can feel differently about themselves. Thank you so much for speaking to me today. It's been a pleasure. Good luck with the premiere, and I hope everyone enjoyed the film as much as I did. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> pleasure. How was that? Was that yes, was that lovely. Like? You have a lovely voice. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> listening for ages. <laughs> Very <Thank> eloquent. <you. laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. Such a pleasure. It's a top of my voice, it's quite low.